Yo, what's going on guys? McGuigan one to here, bring you another video. In this video, we have another wager against the Taze Time. So if you guys don't want to go check him out, his YouTube is the Taze Time, which is going to be down in the description, not his actual channel link, but just go type him on in YouTube and look at his videos. You will also see his point of view, I believe he recorded, and also go follow him on Twitter at the Taze Time. So in this wager, if I win, I get a Movember Dougie Hamilton, who is around 50, 40 to 50k, and if he wins, he gets an All-Star Game Scott in 5k. So I really don't want to lose this one, I beat him 4-1 pretty dominantly last time. Hoping I could do it again. And yeah, I, I was really happy the way I played this wager. This wager was pretty laggy. At, at, it was pretty much just at one point it was really laggy actually. I changed my team around a bit. And alright, I had to cut it a bit there. Just I wasn't I was wondering why it said waiting for user and it was laggy there. <laughs> and I I'm I'm recording this in the share factory while I'm editing it in the share factory and like talking over it and <laughs> I, I was worried I thought my recording froze. But I was really happy the way I played this wager. Here we're gonna take the face off here with, I believe that was Zetterberg. I believe that was Zetterberg. Four per crash and that he ends up talking home one nothing. He wasn't very happy about that goal, but I mean I just crashed in that. Tried to find a hole. That's a goal that goes in the regular NHL today. I don't really see a big problem with it. He seemed to have a problem with this. He also seemed to have a problem with every other goal I scored. So we play it back to the point. Nice little move around his defense here. Playing it in down low. we able to cross crease it over to Johnny Gaudreau. And he's able to tuck it. Nice little cross crease to end up squeaking. It was probably going to go in and in anyway if I one touched it. And it just went in. And that put me up 2 nothing. Almost halfway through the second period. And I was feeling pretty confident. Both my goals, pretty good goals. He wasn't getting very many scoring chances. He was getting some time to attack some shots, but they were just kind of lobs. I don't think... I think I took a couple penalties in this game, but... Up to this point, he didn't really have any major scoring chances. So, we are going to cut here now... To the start of the third, almost. And this goal pissed me off so much, just... Oh, I hate letting those go. Then backhand shovel shot five hole it still should be two nothing just the backhand shovel shot i hate when i let those in i just i hate it because there's nothing you can do it's your goalie's fault two minutes left he ended up tying it up i couldn't get the footage but i ended up streaking down the winger of Gaudreau, and we end up having to sweat it we end up having to sweat it three two with a pullback on the forehand, he didn't like that one at all. He was spamming me some DMs. He was not happy. What was his oh his second goal was uh he cut him from the slot and he shot it. It was, it was a good goal. It was a good goal. So I think at this point it still should be three one three two. I tied it up. He wasn't very happy. And we ended up winning again. We ended up being this haze time again pretty I wouldn't say dominantly just because the stats are more even, I guess, but I definitely had more scoring chances. I had a little bit more time to attack. He had a bit more uh, shots, but I like to preserve my shots and just like do cross creasers and stuff. And I said to this and after after on Twitter, I don't like doing like greasy goals all the time, but it works. <laughs> it works. I don't know what to tell you. And you seen the Ekblad goal there? That's the one that he scored. And the Gaudreau one. Like I'd love to shoot low blocker there. But it doesn't go in in this game, and I want to win. <laughs> like, I don't know what to tell you. So, Gaudreau gets first start. It was a pretty good game. And, yeah, we are just going to cut here now. That was scary, wasn't it? So, I actually kind of forgot to record when he sent it to me, but there's a contract he sent it to. Go follow him out, and I will show Move Ekblad here in a second. There you go. So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, favorite, support, and it's been more 10, guys. See ya.